Hi guys, welcome to another how to video from the Res Games. Last time I showed you the equivalent exchange collectors and condensers, how to make them a bit better. This time we'll be looking at cobble generators. Cobble generators, um, you might be thinking, why would you want one of those? It's got a couple of uses really. Main ones are for powering like recyclers, scrap machines, but you can also have it feeding uh, condensers before you've got a lot of the machinery, generate some free energy. This is your basic cobble generator. Works together by basically it keeps creating a block there. Every time it does, interrupts the signal, triggering it, breaking it. It's firing it straight into this crystal chest in the back. So you can see the uh, rate it's going at there. Quite easy to do. Let's make the cross shape. So, two. Another two. Like that. Same shape as this. And space for the chest, I guess. You want the block breaker here. Whatever chest you want to use behind it. I'm using the crystal chest just because they look cooler. Plus you can see it when it's working or not. And then you want that. And a piece of redstone there. And I forgot to get some torches. Redstone torch at the bottom. Water. And then lava. There you go. Working straight away. Now, not the most efficient design, but this doesn't require timers. Doesn't require any real high tech machinery. It can be used with a wooden chest. And it'll just automatically run on its own. I say that after it's jammed. Never mind. Let's get it going again. There you go. Now, there are some more efficient designs you can use, but they require timers, such as this one. Water goes down two blocks. Lava goes down two blocks. That's facing downwards. Place a timer on it. Give it about that. There you go. Now, main reason you want to use something like this is to combine it into larger cobblestone generators, such as dun 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 that one. This is using the redstone tubes as a trigger for all of them. You could loop this around as many times as you want, put another row along here, have it feeding say into a collector, and then if I switch this on to, um, let's put it about 850, there you go. Now you could have this going into like say recycler, making scrap, and you could have another pipe taking the scrap out and putting it into a mass fabricator, making it work much, much faster. I mean, some people might not like this, they might prefer putting it in manually, but if you can automate a process, why not? So, that's all for this video, we'll have a couple more shortly. Any more suggestions or tips, feel free to give us a message or drop us a comment. Thanks guys, bye!